Hi guys, welcome back to my channel once again here on YouTube. Happy New Year to you all. Hope you had a good uh, Christmas holidays and everything else. Sorry, it's been a delay in videos lately. I've been unwell and obviously we've had Christmas, etc. as you can appreciate. Um, this is part one of my WWE DVD stroke Blu-ray collection. Sorry about the Danhausen picture in the background. I needed to put something in the background because my fro over here in the room I'm in uh, seems to make the camera zoom in, zoom out, zoom in, zoom out by itself. And I can't, I don't know how to fuck about with the settings to stop that from happening. So I just chucked <laughs> poor Danhausen sign photo in the background there. And now it stopped doing that because it has something to focus on now. So Danhausen's going to curse you for a second and point at you. And uh, while I explain what I'm going to be showing you today. So I'm going to start with pay-per-views, stroke, premium live events. But they're going to have tagged classics in as well. So I'm going to show you all my tagged classics that I have so far. And there's, there's going to be a few non-pay-per-views at the beginning, if that makes sense. Just to confuse things more. Sorry if a lot of these aren't in order. They aren't on any shelves. I'm, I've run out of shelving space. I'm still waiting on somebody to help me build these shelves. It's been a nightmare. And uh, I would do it myself, but with all my health problems I've got, it's really difficult to do that. I was unable to get to my normal filming location today with the uh, with the Sting and Steiner background and that because that room, getting to that with the boxes I need to carry there would just took so much time. So without further ado, let's get on with part one of my WWE DVD and Blu-ray collections, uh, 1985 to 2004, I think I'm going up to today, pay-per-view stroke premium live event wise. But as I said before that, I'll show you my uh, tag classics non-pay-per-views. I would usually keep this first one in with my NWO collection. So this one's got back in black. Uh, the bit, oh, what does that one say, sorry, a video tribute to Big Daddy Cool Diesel and Uzi Machismo Razor Ramon. I also think it's a good idea showing you guys it them this way because I, I get to um, show you the covers properly and everything then. Another non-pay-per-view uh, set was the Battle Royal at the Albert Hall and UK Rampage. Now I notice a lot of these, uh, or some of these tag classics seem to have come with like a clear case. So they have a an insert with adverts on, which is pretty cool. And then there's some that don't like the uh, NWO one I showed you just now, unless someone changed the case around. I'm just gonna have a quick look Pull that out a second because that really bugs me. No, it's all it's all clear. I wonder why some of them are like that then. It would have made sense to have had adverts in all of them, surely. But yeah, that's those two guys. Now we get on to the pay-per-views. I don't have many tag classics, as I said, they're fucking expensive. So, first of all, then pay-per-views. We have WrestleMania 1 and 2. Like I said, if a lot of these don't seem like they're in order, I do apologize. It's just the way I've packed them in the box and had them might have been before. When I had them on shelves, but I tried my best to put them together as best I can. So yeah, there's WrestleMania 1 and 2. WrestleMania's 3 and 4. This one's mixed in with them as well. Uh, so this is uh, WrestleMania Free Championship Edition. Which I'm uh, very pleased to own. WrestleMania is five and six. I'm trying to work out the Roman numerals it's written there and. <laughs> in normal numbers there guys that's just <laughs> I don't know that's handy and that thank you Silver Vision for that 
uh, but it's just um, me trying to guess the, <laughs> guess the Roman numerals, and it just says it at the bottom. I'm such a dumbass. Oh shit, bit of a damage uh, case there. I, I did notice that last time, and I must remind myself to sort that out. I'm going to put that that way around so it reminds me before I put them back in the box again to sort that out. WrestleMania is... Oh, no, it doesn't done it, hasn't done it on this one. It did on the other one. But anyway, it doesn't matter. WrestleMania 7 and 8. I'm going to start cussing you, Silver Vision, like I do with Fremantle. <laughs> but no, I'm kidding. You were a decent company, Silver Vision. Wish you kept going. In my opinion. Yeah, WrestleMania 7 and 8. Guys, sorry if I'm going too fast as well. My apologies. So WrestleMania is nine and ten. I love WrestleMania nine. I know a lot of people shit on it and hate it. I just I love the uh, setting for it outdoors in you know Caesar's Palace and everything. Very nostalgic for me. WrestleMania 11 and 12. WrestleMania is 13 and 14. I think this was probably one of the last ones I needed to fill up all the WrestleManias I was missing. The earlier ones that was. I can't remember now. Such a long time ago. Then we go to... Oh, it's all getting confusing now, isn't it? So, yeah. Royal Rumble 89 and and 1990. I did say a lot of these wouldn't seem like they're in order. Guys, I do need to give them a good sort when I get new shelving, as I said. I'm just kind of embarrassed about that. <laughs> SummerSlam 94 and 95. This Tuesday in Texas, uh, custom Blu-ray. So that's Hogan versus Undertaker for the WWF Championship. Which uh, Hogan lost at the Survivor Series the week prior to it, I think it was, to that pay-per-view. I got that from Chad Stone, in case you're wondering, guys, and you're asking me where do I get these customs. Chad Stone, he's on Facebook. Very very nice guy, very helpful, and he'll help you if you send him a message. Any wrestling DVD or Blu-ray, he's very good. He'll sort it out for you every year after. I've also got SummerSlam 92 Blu-ray. Uh, 30th anniversary edition. I should have showed that before the SummerSlam 94 95. Like I said, the order of these are messed up. Very frustrating. It's only these earlier ones. It's, you know, because of the way they're twin packed together, it's strange of how, how to, you know, what order to put them in and everything else. It confuses the hell out of me. And here we go. It skips to uh, SummerSlam 96 and 97. There we go. That's that one. SummerSlam 98 and 99. That's Nathan the Wrestling Guy and others have said in the past that it's confusing because they've put the posters back the front or the cover artwork or whatever you want to call it back the front on these uh, tagged classics for the SummerSlam 98 and 99 releases. This set, I mean, sorry. Just push them back slightly so they don't fall. I might have to restart stacking in front of the other one. I might have to start stacking in front of you in a minute, Dan Housen. Don't you dare curse me, mind. <laughs> so we've got Survivor Series 95 and 96. Sorry if the lighting in this room's not very good as well, guys. That's why I do use the other one. My main one, because the lighting in there is so much better. This is just like a storage room with my boxes and stuff in at the moment. Yes, yeah, so the Survivor Series 95 and 96. Summer 
Survivor Series 97 Gang Rules and Survivor Series 98 Deadly Game, which I've reviewed about a month or so ago, just over a month ago. In fact, we're in January now, aren't we? Two months ago, I would have done it around uh, November time, but the Survivor Series season. I had fun reliving these, though. They were they were good. Go check out that review if you didn't see it already, guys. I think most of you have by now. King of the Ring 93 and 94. Yeah, see, I should have... Like I said, they're not in no particular order. They're all over the place now. So these should have been way before, like, Survivor Series 97, 98. You know what I mean. I'm going to stop apologising. But you know what I mean, guys. I do apologise again. <laughs> Very, very frustrating though. Can't wait to get them on shelves. King of the Ring, uh, yeah, the King of the Ring 93. I've asked uh, my good mate Rocket Dave to review that at some point. I think he will. I've covered it in the past. I think it was about two years ago I reviewed that. Can't remember now. Now we go to, I think I've done with the tag. No, I haven't done with the tag classics. They're all mixed up still, right. We're in 1998 for some reason. <laughs> okay, so we got WrestleMania 14. I had to think which one this was then. WrestleMania X rated, WrestleMania 98, WrestleMania 14. Three different names. Mike Tyson missing from the front here. He would usually appear on the uh, VHS counterpart, to my knowledge. But yeah, there's a. That one from 1998. It's because I've got a group of 1998 pay-per-views here all together. You've got Unforgiven in Your House, 98, from the Attitude Collection. And this would frustrate certain collectors that I have them in such a strange order. Why haven't you got this one in with your Attitude Collection? And, you know, things like that. <laughs> because it's a pay-per-view and it needs to go with pay-per-views. <laughs> Another one from the Attitude Collection, uh, Rock Bottom in Your House. I think if I ever get the tagged classics of these eventually, which I hope to do, I don't think those two are on the same tagged classics together. They'll be with another pay-per-view I need. So then I can put these back in with the Attitude Collection then, if that makes sense, which is what I might do. can't remember if I enjoyed Rock Bottom or not. I remember there was like a Buried Alive match, wasn't there, with Austin and Taker. Sorry guys, it's just my memory it was, uh, you know, catching up with me a bit then thinking, did I enjoy that pay-per-view or not? Then we got some 1999 with uh, WrestleMania 15, the Raging Climax. This is the Silver Vision release. So I think the Fremantle release has... Kane instead of Big Show on the front cover artwork. Apologies if I got that wrong. I don't actually own that one. It's just from uh, seeing it in other people's collections. And I wonder if uh, it has a match listing on the back. Like what this one does. Like what Silver Vision does. See Fremantle, that's what you're supposed to do. You know, I'll apologise if they have done that, but I don't know if they have. Or not, I can't remember because I don't own that one anyway. If it did have it on the back, and I saw other people's, we go to 2000 next, and we have the Royal Rumble. <laughs> Nathan, <laughs> Nathan, remember this one? I got you to review it, dude. <laughs> if you're watching this video, I bet you're thinking, uh, Yeah, cheers, bunny. <laughs> you put me for that torture of the uh, Miss uh, Rumble swimsuit competition. <laughs> I'm so grateful to you to review that for me though dude it wasn't because of that though it was because of the Triple H Cactus Jack match mainly I knew you'd appreciate that match and I knew you'd probably appreciate the uh, <laughs> Miss Swimsuit Miss Rumble Swimsuit competition no I'm only kidding dude no honestly cheers I respect you for doing that thank you I am catching up with your collection videos as well it's just been a long Christmas and everything else yeah peace brother yeah, moving on, we have uh, No Way Out 2000 and Backlash 2000. And this, this is where it annoys me again, because in between these two is WrestleMania, isn't it? And also 
possibly an insurrection pay-per-view so if you try and put them on the shelf it's just so weird how you've got to lay them out but I, like i said i appreciate the tag classic so i'm not going to grumble too much about it we have wrestlemania 2000 or wrestlemania 16 if you will next this is the silver vision version i did have the free mantle one and it was only a one disc set i think it was missing a lot of extras as well and this one has uh, over seven hours of exclusive uh, wrestlemania wrap-up section so i swapped them out and i uh yeah i'm getting rid of or i've got rid of uh the other one yes i've got rid of it sorry i remember who i gave it to now but yeah there's the silver vision version and it comes in this really chunky kind of box as well so if you put it next to a standard dvd spine you see what i mean it's like almost the size of two rebellion 99 and insurrection 2000 so back to more tagged classics again as i did explain earlier guys there the tagged classics are all mixed in with all over the place things will start calming down a bit when we get to 2001 I promise. So we got uh, King of the Ring 99 and 2000 on this one. Again, I did have King of the Ring 2000 as a standalone, but when I got this, I compared both DVDs. Nothing was out of place on, uh, you know, like any anything wasn't edited. Everything seemed perfect because I did compare both. So I decided to get rid of the other one. And, uh, you know, just to save shelf space and stuff. And obviously that didn't work out for me because they live in boxes now. Sorry, guys. Sorry, DVDs. <laughs> Sorry to do that to you. Judgment Day and Fully Loaded from 2000. So this is another one that annoyed me a little bit. It was Armageddon 2000 from December, and we had January, which would, would have been Royal Rumble in between these two, and then it, we go to February's No Way Out 2001 on the uh, tagged classics. And this was the only way we could get a copy of No Way Out 2001 officially released on DVD. It wasn't ever released uh, individually. It was released as this uh, tagged classic set here in the... Uh, Europe. Sorry, my hand's getting in the way. Like I said, the, uh, the glare in here that lightens off is so frustrating. 2001, right? I can relax a bit more now because they should all be in order. Should. It, well, apart from that, no way out should be after this. And then, and then we should be okay after that. So Royal Rumble 2001. Good Rumble. One of my favourite Rumble matches of all time. Up there with uh, Rumble 2007, definitely. WrestleMania X7 or WrestleMania 17 from 2001. Silver Vision uh, release. Again with the chunky kind of box. <laughs> The uh, DVD box on steroids, <laughs> the steroid uh, version of WrestleMania <laughs> DVD. Backlash 2001. <laughs> Judgment Day 2001. Oh yeah, there is one I'm missing from here now. I can just remember it. It's Insurrection 2001. It's on the tagged classics, which I don't own still. It's so expensive, guys. I, mean, I am trying to get a copy of that still. It's just a total nightmare. But after after this now, it's all they all should be in pretty much in order. It's King of the Ring. Invasion. 
Yeah, I don't have every WWF, WWE pay-per-view. I'm missing a fair few still, not too many. Mainly the tag classic stuff and mainly stuff between 2013 to 2019. But yeah, I should have said that at the beginning and not complete pay-per-view collections. And I've only been collecting these since, uh, like, you know, properly put an effort into collecting WWE DVDs and Blu-rays since 2020, if I remember rightly. So yes, yeah, sorry, SummerSlam 2001, let the bodies hit the floor. Unforgiven. With the creepy Austin face on. Creepy as shit, that is. What a strange thing to use as a logo. <laughs> a free headed Austin. So, No Mercy. Very good to rewatch that. Um, this uh, pay per view back for the first time in over 20 years, I think it was. Last year, when I did the 2001 year in review, had a lot of fun with that. I did have to have a bit of a break because it was burning me out slightly, but it, it was worth it. Definitely looking back at it now, I did have fun. You got Rebellion, 2001 here. I think most of these from 2001 are available, if not all of them, as tagged classics as well. But I'd like to, I preferred to have them individually. I think it goes up to 2002, possibly, with tag classic pay-per-views. The Survivor Series, that was good as well. Very fun. Vengeance, in December 2001. Four superstars, three matches, two titles, one undisputed champion. Move into 2002 territory now. So we have Royal Rumble. McMahon wanting to inject a bit of NWO poison into the World Wrestling Federation with No Way Out, February 2002. So many 18, Icon versus Icon. Never steroid uh, DVD case. <laughs> the Silver Vision version. These ones are also cool because they come with posters. I won't get it right now, but I think I've shown you in the past. I kind of like that. They're in the uh, WrestleMania collection videos if you wanted to see what the posters look like. Just anything like that, guys. They're pretty cool. Um, Backlash. Up next. Insurrection. I'm going to have to start putting them in front of you now, Dan Housen. This final pile, anyway. I think there's actually two more piles. Right, so we got Judgment Day 2002. A few of my friends in uh, America, North America, have said this one's quite a rarity. You know, your neck of the woods. Along with Vengeance, I think it was, from 2002, which we'll get to shortly. King of the Ring. Yeah, this one, Vengeance. One with the creepy eyes on. And 
the Austin's eyes apparently. I can't remember what someone told me. I think it was Nathan you said about that, didn't you, dude? Was it Steve Austin's eyes? They look like Edge's eyes. It's just strange to have a pair of eyes on a wrestling DVD. SummerSlam. Rock versus Brock. Oh shit, I almost dropped that then. Right. Yeah, stay back there. You have to lean on Danhausen. Unforgiven. We have a, sh a shit ending, I'd say, match between Brock Lesnar and Undertaker for the WWE Championship. Just didn't like the way it ended at all. It's lazy. Lazy booking. No Mercy 2002. Kane's uh, mask. Good Hell in a Cell match. On that one. Was it Hell in a Cell? Is that on that one? Yeah, with uh, Brock and Undertaker. The Elimination Chamber from Survivor Series 2002. Memorable for Shawn Michaels forgetting his attire and wearing something completely different. <laughs> well, pretty much. And um, the debut of Scott Steiner, which not many people remember, but I do, obviously. There you go, at the bottom. Plus... Got Steiner debuts. Then we saw 2002 out with Armageddon. I was going to say out with a bang. And yeah, that would have been, uh, you know, <laughs> good choice of words for an, an event, a pay-per-view called Armageddon. With the... Uh, Two out of three falls match between Michaels and Triple H. 2003. So we have Royal Rumble. No way out. The Rock versus Hogan 2. Triple H versus Scott Steiner 2. And Bischoff versus Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yeah, and as I've said many a times before, guys, I know I'm still going to say it again. The uh, the pay per view spines all line up together throughout that year, with exception of Insurrection, to spell out 2003. WrestleMania 19. Backlash. Goldberg versus The Rock. Uh, Judgment Day. You see what I mean now, guys? It's slowly starting to say 2003. To any of the new collectors out there, that is. I know a lot of you other guys already know that, but it's just, you know, in case there's new collectors taking an interest in this video that, want, that didn't realise that that's what happens when you collect that particular year. Whether you're in, the, uh, in Europe or in North America or the US, whatever, it's the same. And you've got bad blood here. Triple H versus Kevin Nash in a Hell in a Cell match. Vengeance 2003. I didn't mind that pay-per-view. It's one of my uh, possible favourites from that year, from what I remember. But not a lot of people appreciate that one. It was a Smackdown one. Something I don't appreciate. Is you, Sabre? No, I'm only kidding, Sabre. You look lovely. Um, <laughs> I don't want Brock to beat me up. <laughs> so i got to be nice to you. No, it isn't because of, that's not what I was going to say. One thing I don't appreciate is the uh, Elimination Chamber match on this SummerSlam. In my opinion, the worst Elimination Chamber match ever. 
not poor December to December uh, ECW from 2006 that always gets shit on. At least they got weapons in that, you know what I mean? A weapon each or whatever. <laughs> got Unforgiven. Kane's gone psycho since losing his mask and uh, Shane McMahon's trying to restrain him, put him um, in his place, but it doesn't kind of work in Shane's favour. Interesting feud though. No Mercy was good. The Biker Chain match on this with uh, Taker and Brock for the WWE Championship. Survivor Series. Not really overly keen on the front cover artwork. It's, it's a bit blurry and boring. and I don't know. The colouring's okay though, but I don't know. And the never ending feud between Goldberg and Triple H continues at Survivor Series. And then continues on into Armageddon to end the year out. Evolution of the game. That's a nice uh, cover artwork. Not a fan of Triple H, but I've got to praise the artwork for this. Bit more effort than the uh, Survivor Series. Yeah, Goldberg, Triple H, and Kane triple threat match for the World Championship. And that's 2003, guys. Right, one more year to cover, and then that's a wrap for this video because we've already gone 30 minutes. So, Royal Rumble 2004. No Way Out, where Eddie, spoiler alert, beats Brock Lesnar for the WWE Championship. I don't, I don't have the WrestleMania in with this because it's a huge limited edition box set, which I'll cover in another video, collect, you know, with the collection in another part. So I do apologise for that, guys, because it's in a separate box as well. We've got Backlash. Judgment Day. Bad Blood with a Rebellion 2002. Pay per view. So that's a limited edition one. Never a limited edition. Great American Bash from 2004 comes with Insurrection 2003. That's why I don't have those two individually, Rebellion and Insurrection, because I got them, you know, in, in with those, I just didn't see the point of buying them again. Got Trish Stratus as a bonus disc with this uh, Vengeance, so 100% Stratus faction guaranteed. I do actually have that DVD twice, I have it as a standalone as well, I can't remember how that came into my possession now, but... Yeah. Best of WWE Confidential comes with the SummerSlam 2004 as a limited edition. I think that was all the limited editions they did in the in Europe in 2004 with the pay-per-views that is. Unforgiven, Insane Pain Kane. No Mercy, 2004. Taboo Tuesday. Survivor Series. And last but not least, guys, for this video, we have Armageddon to wrap up 2004. Thank you ever so much for watching this first part, guys. It means a lot to me. Give me a thumbs up if I deserve one. Um, feel free to subscribe, comment, and everything else. Sorry, <laughs> my mind went blank. I haven't done this for a while. Uh, yeah, 
stay safe guys and i'll catch you again soon for the second part goodbye for now